What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, we're gonna be talking about interfaces in C Sharp. And interfaces were another one of those topics that just confused me so much. Like it, it probably took me um, three months to learn classes and it probably took me about the same amount of time to learn interfaces. And the reason interfaces are so confusing is that it really is just like, it really is just an abstract concept. But let me just kind of slowly introduce you to the definition and then I'm gonna walk you into a very real world scenario where you would use interfaces. So interfaces are, let's just pull up the documentation. Interfaces are a contract and that's pretty much the only way that you could truly describe them. It's if you implement this interface, you have to use this code. A contract means if I'm going to do something, you have to do something. And if you don't do that thing, then I'm going to sue you. But the compiler is not going to sue you. The compiler is just going to say, hey, you have not honored your contract. You cannot run this program. So once again, what does that really mean? Let's just go ahead and let's jump into a very real world scenario of this, seeing this actual contract in action. So let's just say... I am going to make my own data type. I'm going to make my own list. I think that list, Microsoft's list are stupid and I'm going to implement my own list. I'm gonna call it a super list. And I'm gonna name that a class. Just call it a super list. It's just this imaginary data structure that we've thought up in our minds. We are geniuses and we are going to implement a better list than Microsoft. But, we also recognize that Microsoft has a couple of good ideas, so we're actually going to uh, use some of the features of Microsoft's list. Like, how would we do that? We could implement a class, but fortunately enough, Microsoft is already saying, hey, you're not the first person who's thought, thought about doing that. I'm going to give you an interface. So if you want to use the functionality that me, you know, or Microsoft or Bill Gates has implemented in this awesome data structure, you have to uh, abide by the list contract. So when we don't honor the list or the I list contract, the interface, what happens is we get this red underline. And this is going to, you're going to see this every day at your job when you implement interface. So because our super list has not abided by the I list contract, and we can see like what, if you just hover over it, you'll see all these crazy warnings. Super list does not implement interface index of super lists. And if you pay attention, like these are all methods. So basically what it's saying is you need to implement these. It's kind of like a funny way or an annoying way of saying, hey, you need to implement these methods. You need to abide by your contract. And voila, what you do, and you're gonna do this a lot, so make sure you pay attention, control dot, and then that's how you implement, you, then you go to implement the interface and the uh, IDE will implement everything for you and you have satisfied the contract. So what, like watch what happens. Like what if I change this? Yep, you're not imp implementing the contract, but watch what another thing, watch what another peculiar thing, watch what happens when I do this. Yes, you can, so within this, within these brackets, within the actual you know function, within the actual code, you can implement your own code, but you cannot modify the signature. The contract is all has everything to do with the signature and nothing to do with the actual code. You can take out this code. You can you know if I wanted to take this out, if I just wanted to say, sorry. <laughs> You try to add this to a string and it just prints out at sorry to the uh, console. Oh God, I'm cracking myself up here. So that is and essentially what an interface is. So you can implement your own, you know, super data type that just says sorry every single time you try to add to it. So you can also add other things to it. Like say if I wanted to int my super value you could add to it but you can't change the implementations that you are contractually bound to within the i list so if i change this to this 
You see? Hopefully that illustrated the point very clear. And that's like probably what you really need to know about interfaces, like right there in just a straight shot. Like I think you could probably get away with not even watching like the rest of this video, but you probably are because I just gave you some really great information and I need that watch time. So make sure that you're staying. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and let's actually implement our own interface. And I'm going to create a class called dog. Because it, remember back in the old, my previous class video, classes are nouns. Like you never, you're, you're not ever going to create a class called dog uh, bark. You'll never create it, like that's a verb. Like a class is always going to be a noun. And we will always change that to public. I don't know why they call it everything internal now. So we've created our dog class. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to implement our own interface for our dog class. So we go in here and typically interfaces take on like a verb name. So this one will be I dog walker because we need an interface coming in. We need our own special type of implementation for doing this walking because interfaces typically take like, like I said, if you want to bring in some type of implementation if you want to bring in some type of action if you want to bring in you know all these verbs typically you want to do them with interfaces because that's kind of like what the purpose of interface is for but it's not a hard and fast rule like they can, sometimes interfaces can take on different forms besides these verbs but for just getting you a job purposes like just remember that so here we're going to change this to public once again so iDogWalker, key thing to remember about an interface is that once again, they're, they can contain properties, but for the most part, they're going to contain methods. And these methods are method signatures. You're not going to actually type out like the full method. So we're going to say walk to the park. Then we're going to place our method signature. Also, key point two, don't put public because you're not actually, well, I guess you can put, put public here. I guess they changed that. Uh, I have no idea why that public, it used to not work. If anything, if you know anything about that, I have no idea why public just worked. Public usually doesn't work uh, like that. So if you know anything about that and why public works in an interface now, let me know. So walk to the park, walk to the city. Void walk to the food bowl. Okay, so simple in implementation there, and really not, you know, I hope this just illustrates the point. This is kind of a dumb program, but we just need to learn kind of how an interface works right here. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to bring in our I dog walker remember whenever you see the red line for an interface just put hit control dot and impl implement the interface and voila we have it straight here in our program or in our dog class probably a better way of saying that all right, and I'm just gonna console right line these just to walk to the city. And I'm gonna copy these down, just change them. Okay, so walk to the food bowl. Walk to the park. And let's just say for whatever sake that I want to add like an extra functionality. Like let's just say I don't want, you know, I dog walker is great, but I also just have, uh, maybe let's just put like a nice little dog bark in here. And my dog's going crazy because he thinks I'm talking to him. So let's just, but because dog barking is not part of I dog walker or just conceptually, you know, you're not going to put your dog barking because you're not walking your dog you will just put it in here. Or there's more complicated things that we could do, but let's not 
get carried away. Dog. And then the dog is barking. Bark. Bark. All right. So this comes, somebody asked, you know, what is polymorphism? I will show you probably the most common form of polymorphism that you're ever going to see. So dog, then we have, or actually I dog. So typically you would put this dog. And my dog's name is turtle. So we will name him turtle new dog. And then we have to bring in our type. So control dot. Whenever you see the red line, just put press control dot, and a lot of times it'll figure it out. So turtle dot dog barking. Okay, so that works, but this will work also. Let's see here. And this is an important concept in polymorphism. This is called coding to an interface. Typically you want to code to an interface because a interface is more broad. It's more abstract as people would call it, or it's closer. It's higher up on like, if it were like a base case, think of it, if it would just had like, if it was one more up in like the hierarchy of inheritance, it's, it's a more broad class. And that's typically why people tell you to code to an interface. That's like a, it's like a common thing. Oh. We don't want because we can't instantiate an interface so and look at that it works that's polymorphism hopefully i just explained polymorphism to you and like just blew your mind there so you didn't have to watch like 10 videos on what polymorphism is all right then walk to park and we have all of our interfaces or we have we have all of our methods from our interface Just like that. And that is interfaces. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.